Well, I'm a little hot right now, a little mad. Our local newspaper here, the Sunday News Edition, Lancaster newspaper, just published an article attacking a local church here, a local Baptist church I used to be a member of, uh, for putting out gospel tracts against Catholicism. And there's a guy here locally, Roy Maricondo is his name. He's in the article. And uh, let me fold it here. And he's charging hate crime. Hate crime. This is a horrible hate crime to have my precious Catholic faith attacked. You know. And of course he, he called up uh, the pastor of the church I used to go to, Guy Mosebrook. I know him personally. He's a good man. He calls him up, leaves a nasty message. He's written to our ministry as well, this Roy Maricondo, writes a bunch of nasty things, attacks us, and then we try to, we actually try, I, I sent him a letter trying to talk to the guy, open up conversation with him. He didn't even read it, sent it back. Okay, I got it in my files, I, no point in showing it here. But the fact is, it's hate crime for us to say things negative against the Catholic Church but it's not a hate crime for him to get mad and attack Bible-believing Christians. You see the warped mentality here? And you see the thing of this hate crime thing. Everybody, I don't care whether you are a devout Roman Catholic, you should not be for hate crime legislation because what it is, is it's about censoring your speech. I mean, is this really what the true church would do? Is this really what... A true believer in Jesus Christ would do persecute those that disagree with them this is ridiculous it's absolutely absurd to censor people's speech and to say that this is this is wrong this is hate crime and they got the Southern Southern Poverty Law Center in here saying that Jack Chick is a hate organization Chick publications you know it's ridiculous and, and but this is what we're going to do now this is our Orwellian state that we're going to create where your speech is censored, and eventually your thought will have to be censored as well, apparently. You know, never mind the fact that you have books like this one here and this one here, the Council of Trent, okay, which condemns people like me, a Bible-believing Christian, okay, condemns you. You're not even allowed, according to the Councils of Trent here, you're not even allowed to have literature that's against Catholicism. So, you know, there you go. And this one here, the church teaches documents of the church in English translation by Jesuit fathers of St. Mary's College. This thing contains over 200 curses against the enemies of Roman Catholicism. Over 200 curses. Anathema. If anybody says this, let him be anathema. Damned. Damned to hell. Over 200 curses. Okay? And this is the true church? You want me to believe that? that writes books of curses against its enemies. See, I'm not afraid of this literature over here. I have all kinds of Catholic stuff here. I, I have a catechism right there. Here's another catechism, the newer one. I have First Communion Catechism. I got Baltimore Catechism. All of these different things. I'm not afraid of Catholicism. I'm not afraid of Catholic literature. I collect it. You know, I would never say because some Catholics, I'd, I'd love to receive some, some tracts from Catholics, ex, you know, attacking Bible-believing Protestants or whatever they want to call us. I'd love to receive it, but I want to be able to refute it and have them be open-minded enough to accept it and say, yeah, well, you know, well, we're just going to have to agree to disagree, whatever, you know. It's called liberty of conscience, okay? And if you study it, you'll see that Roger Williams, who is credited as being the founder of the Baptist Church, which he isn't, but, you know, the Baptists were around before that. But Roger Williams fought for liberty of conscience here in America. And Oliver Cromwell fought for liberty of conscience over in the UK. Okay, over in England. That's what a true religious person, that's what somebody who's truly open-minded would fight for. Liberty of conscience says, as long as you're not hurting anybody, as long as you are not physically hurting anybody, you can believe whatever you want to believe. And that's my system of belief. Hey, you, I'm not going to pass a law against Roman Catholics. They can believe whatever they want to believe. Okay? Some Jehovah's Witness comes to my door or some Mormon or something like that. Hey, welcome. Let's have a discussion here. Let me show you from the Bible why you're wrong. 
I'll take your literature. I take Catholic literature. I'm not afraid of it. But what, what kind of a society are we going to have when we begin to censor people's speech and when we begin to say, this is, this is hate crime and you hold up the tracks. And I mean, look at the guy's face. Here it is. Here's the collar picture from LancasterNewspapers.com. By the way, I will actually, it's Lancaster News Online, I think is what it is. I'll actually give you the link to this article so you can read it yourself. Uh, at the end, he actually says, pray the way you want to pray, Marikondo would tell attackers of his religion, but leave us alone. I got to worry about my own soul. Well, buddy, we're trying to tell you how to help your soul, how to get saved. Okay? Just incredible. Absolutely incredible. And, and this is the kind of dangerous philosophy that is coming here into America where they're trying to censor speech and they're trying to, you, it is illegal to pass out gospel tracts. And this is hate crime or something ridiculous. Simply because we point out some problems that the Roman Catholic Church has. You know, over the pedophile priests and everything molesting children, but I guess I shouldn't say that either. You know, it's ridiculous. Here again, I have uh, my Sunday Missal. Here's a Dewey Reams Bible. Okay, this is the Confraternity Edition. That's not the real one. Here's New American Bible. This one here, I'm going to show you some hate crime here. This is this thing right here. Let's see if I can get that on camera. $150 for this. Okay, this entire four volume set is the original Jesuit Dewey Reams Bible of 1610. Now, you wouldn't believe some of the stuff that's written in here. Here in Revelation chapter 17, one of the footnotes says, putting heretics to death is not to shed the blood of saints. Okay, and then it says, the Protestants foolishly expound it of Rome, for that there they put heretics to death and allow of their punishment in other countries. But their blood, Protestants, is not called the shedding or is not called the blood of saints, no more than the blood of thieves, man killers, and other malefactors, for the shedding of which by order of justice no commonwealth shall answer. You talk about hate crime. Saying that you kill a Protestant, it's no different than killing a thief or a murderer. You know? But hey, what am I going to do about it? Am I going to try to get Catholics arrested and thrown in prison because their church teaches stuff like this? No. I'm not going to get them arrested and thrown in prison for that. Hey, believe whatever you want to believe, you know. But this, this kind of rank hypocrisy here where you can attack Bible-believing Christians, but then you, they're not allowed to, to fight back, this is censored speech. This is Dark Ages philosophy. I mean, what's next? Are we going to start burning Christians at the stake again? See? So check out the article. Read it for yourself. Write the guy an art. Write write him a letter, okay? Write the guy that wrote this article. His name is on the. Uh, here's the printed edition. His name's on there. John Rudder is a staff writer for the Sunday News. His email address is right there. You can go to it. Lancaster. What is it? LancasterOnline.com. Okay, I'll show the. I'll give the address down there. Write him a letter. Be, be kind, be charitable, whatever, but you know, this is deplorable. All right? Censored speech and, and writing things attacking Bible believing Christians and just totally slamming Chick publications. Totally unfair rant against Jack Chick's organization. It's ridiculous. This is the kind of stuff that everybody should be against. Censored speech is not freedom, it's slavery. All right? That's it.